I'm uh, Wyatt Mark. I'm Caden Robichaud. Today we're going to make green bean and artichoke casserole. So first we're going to preheat the oven to 350. Wyatt's going to do that. Alright, so while that's preheating, in a medium saucepan we are going to put one half a cup of olive oil. So you take the olive oil. I would suggest you get the um, one cup. One half? No. It's a half a cup of oh, olive yeah, oil. Half cup. So. So then, we're going to put that in the pan while it's going to do that for us. Next, you need one cup of diced yellow onion. Alright, we're going to put the onions in this and measure that to one cup. be enough wine's gonna pour that in the pan. It's good. It's a good preference. Alright, we're gonna mix that while Wyatt I'm gonna mix that while Wyatt puts the green the chopped green onions, one cup of it, inside the um thing. saute for 15 minutes while we do that we're gonna open our green beans and open the artichoke hearts first we're gonna take and we're gonna open five cans of artichoke hearts you know how to use this you can do like with that all right i'm gonna do the green beans while wyatt does the artichoke hearts so now we got our onions and green onions sauteing for 15 minutes we drained our green beans and artichoke hearts so now we're gonna cut the artichoke cards into eights. So. Which is what me and Caden are currently doing. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you want to dig this out first. You, you can have me yeah, I got you. Just me two. Then you're going to cut. So uh, we're done sauteing our green onions and onions for 15 minutes. And so now we're going to add our green beans first. Why it's going to do that. There you go. Yeah. Now, after that, make sure that's all in the pan. All right, now we're going to add our artichoke hearts. gonna mix this after I'm done. Now we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Just wanna let you know uh, the auto chokes hearts were very fun to chop up Mr. Russo. Yeah totally. Alright so now pour some salt <laughs> and then we got our pepper now. That was fantastic. Never had like too much pepper. Now we're gonna saute all this for 30 minutes. So now that we have sauteed most of our ingredients, we now need to grate one cup of cheese and uh, some breadcrumbs. We gotta measure out one cup. So we're gonna get to that now. Right there. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Needs to be precise. All right, Wyatt. Why don't you just take, pour that sh all over. Yeah. There you go. 
Well, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna mix this up first. Now, I'm gonna pour the breadcrumb. Breadcrumbs. I'm gonna mix it in the fresh temperature. So now that this is ready, we're gonna take a 9 by 13 inch pan and we're gonna put some Pam in it. Why it's gonna put it in there. Uh, Alright, now we're gonna take this off the fire and we're gonna put our stuff inside. Take this. Yeah, hold the other side. Alright, make sure to get everything. Now we're going to spread it out throughout the pan. Alright, here, White, you can spread it out. <laughs> Alright, you think it's ready to go, Wyatt? I think it's ready to go. I think it's ready. Alright, I'm gonna put it in the oven. That was preheated at 350, precisely. Alright, here we go, Wyatt. You ready? I Wait, think. should I put oven mitts on? Then no, I'll I'll just throw it in there, man. Huh? Alright, for 30 minutes, we're gonna cook this. Ready? So we're gonna set a timer. Look, timer on. 30 minutes. On. There you go. Timer set. See you in 30. See you tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Just tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Five seconds left. I'm about to take it out, and it's gonna be good. Why well, you? You're... Um, I'm ready, dog. <laughs> you ready? Oh, oh, there's the timer. Let's take it out. Let's go. Go on, Wyatt. Ooh. That leg is scrumptious. I'm looking amazing. I, I consider myself a chef. After that. Oh, look at that ahead. finishing product. Miss Russo, be prepared to eat this. It's gonna be one good thing. Alright, so what? If how many how can recipes be used to predict the amount of product from the amount of ingredients available? The recipe can be used to see the ingredients you need. There you see how much a recipe serves with the amount of ingredients from the recipe. You would then do the math for how many servings you need compared to the recipe servings. And you would get how many, how much you need to yeah, make I'm for the amount of servings you need. Yeah, if you only have a certain amount of an ingredient, how do you know how much of the final product you can make? Well, say we only had 0.3. See, as I did the math, if we only had 0.3 cups of olive oil, then we can only make 20. We can only make 22 servings if we only had 0.3. But if we had 0.6, we can make 30 servings, right? And then so on and so forth. If you wanted to make a certain amount of final product, how would you calculate how much of ingredients to use? So he wants us to make 22 servings. So with those 22 servings, we would have to use 0.3 cups of olive oil, 3.6 cans of green beans, 2.2 cans of auto show carts and 0 0.73 cups of grated cheese 0 0.73 cups of breadcrumbs 0 0.73 cups of green onions, green onions and 0 0.73 cups of onions. onions that's it 